Hi guys, welcome back to the automation point. So in this tutorial, we will see how to interact element inside the iframe and frames in Selenium Web Drivers. So let's see what is this iframe and frames. See the iframe and frames. Let's go on W3 school sites. So here on the W3 school site, if you do the Google, um, <clears throat> you will get the uh, iframe tag uh, definition and description here. So here it's saying uh, in the definition, it's saying L an in line frame is used to embed another another document within the current HTML document. So on means on your page like this page, if you want to embed some another third party web application or some other document, so by using that you can <coughs> create uh, by using the iframe you can tag it. Means this this website will we get tagged inside your application web page on your web page okay and it will take the separate windows okay so let's see how if any element is inside this iframe how we will uh, how we can interact with that element in selenium web driver with java code so let's come here on this uh, okay here we will come and here we have already we have taken one application so this is the also one jquery tutorial so go on this site okay let's go here on this side okay from the this site we can see here let's see yeah so there is an element here drag to my target so let's get the text the text from this element drag to the my target so to get this tag text what we will do we will allocate this element and use get text right so let's inspect this element okay open grow path and go on this element <laughs> okay so here the a relative x path we are getting this one okay so let's open Eclipse and write the code to get the text. The driver dot find element by dot x path and pass the x path we have copied from there. And now what we can do here use get text. <coughs> get text <coughs> and after that you can put so i uh, system output print and put this entire statement inside this sop okay so what should happen here this we should get that this one text right now drag to my target See guys, and let's run this code. So I have run the code. Okay. Mm -hmm. See there what is happening. It will open, but that element will not be interactable. Let's see what it is saying. So go there and on the console, what we are saying. <coughs> no such element exception means this element this is saying that there is no else such element is available let's see how we will resolve even though we have seen here that this element is we are getting this element after clicking on this in the crow path so here guys we can see that is this element is in the normal web page or it is it inside the iframe so here you can see in here it's showing as if okay means this it's after hovering on its inside frame so it's saying that this element is inside the frame so if any element is inside the frame to if we want to interact with that element for that how what we need to do just we need to switch on this with iframe inside the iframe then only can we can interact with this one so to switch the inside that element selenium provides the switch to commands so let's write the code here to before this element to switch inside the frame. 
driver dot find sorry driver dot dot switch to uh, switch to right dot frame guys here if you can see it's saying switch to frame as an argument integer switch to frame as argument a string switch to frame as argument variable element so th there are three method to switch in the frame so then which one uh, what is the meaning of this integer a string and variable element so let's see i have some html code here so i have taken this html code that body has two iframe okay and this all this i first iframe has the name and id second iframe have also name and id so let's see if any wave page have the multiple iframe then in this case just you can give the indexing of the iframe like zeroth position first position and third position here this iframe will be on the first position means zeroth index and this will be on the second position that means in the on the first index so if you want to use here switch to okay dot frame then in this case if you can how you can switch just you if you this is the first if you want to switch inside this first one you can pass the zero okay then your frame it will be switched inside the first one if you want to switch there then you can pass <coughs> one okay N nice guys so this is the how if we know the position of the iframe we can do but in general we do not recommend it in the best practice we do not recommend it to use that so let's go on the second one what is the second one iframe a string so let's say if your iframe has the name and id and it is the constant like here we have iframe one and iframe two so if we want to switch here we can take this one okay and just we pass here inside this iframe iframe this one and just we can pass this string as an argument and comment and we'll run the code our control will this execution control will go inside the iframe but let's see the whatever the element we are inter going to interact is this element have id name or the position and at which one position it is index wise so let's see this one if we go hovering if we are hovering on this element and here if we are exploring this html then here you can see the iframe okay so this iframe here guys have only src and class there is no other id and name so we will not recommend to identify any element with the src and class because it's very generic so don't go with this what we will do we will write one x path means we will allocate this iframe as a wave element means we will use here the say third one that is <coughs> dot frame and this one and then write that element there so driver dot find element okay by what let's see that element as x path okay by x path and let's pass the x path here and terminate the state put so now what we will do let's take the how to recognize this element so if we are hovering on this iframe let's see what it is coming so it's coming iframe class dev frames so let's for example temporarily we can take otherwise this tool is generating this uh, this uh, relative x path otherwise you can write the x path so this is the div okay so let's take this div so this div is what this has the constant this element and what we will do we will put this here okay and then we we'll put frame i frame i frame okay and then put enter so here it's also finding one element this x path is also finding one element selector the relative x path and you can see 
this content it is showing here okay so let's take this x path okay and pass here uh, here inside this as the argument and let's run this code okay so here you can see it it had launched the browser and it went there and it's now it should take this dra drag to me it dragged me to my target and let's see it's already printed on the console what drag me to my target means just without switching to the frame if we want we have uh, tried to interact with this element and to get the text we got no such element exception if we are switching our control here then right now we are able to access that element so means if there is any element inside the iframe or if you are getting no such element then on any web page even though you are getting the right even you have the right locator in that case what you can do just you can go and check that is that element is inside the frame or not if that element is inside the frame just switch in that specific frame and then just try to and then you can interact with that elements okay guys so this is what how, this is what uh, we will we can deal with iframe in selenium web driver okay guys so by this topic i think i have i have covered it so next is thank you guys thank you so much so please subscribe automation point channel to keep getting automation update okay guys so thank you